Hey guys, it's February of 2017 and we're still waiting for the official Nougat update for the Samsung Galaxy S6. There are some custom ROMs in development, but they are all in pretty early stages, and this one seemed to me like the best bet. So let's see how to install the unofficial AOKP Nougat 7.1.1 on the Galaxy S6. Of course, your phone has to be rooted and you need a custom recovery. I'll leave links to download the ROM and gapps and also a link to the forum thread over at XDA in the video description. Download the files to your phone and boot to recovery by holding home, volume up and power buttons at the same time. First, wipe everything except for internal storage from your phone. Then go back, select install and select the AOKP ROM file plus the gapps file. Remember, you need ARM64 7.1 gapps. Swipe to confirm and prepare to be patient, the process will take about 8 to 10 minutes. When it's done, select reboot system and again don't worry if it takes quite a long time, allow up to 10 minutes. Let's get through the setup as quickly as possible. Ok, this I'm interested in. Let's see if the fingerprint reader works. Ok, we have a choice of two launchers, I'll go with Pixel. Here we go, let's take a look around. We see the Nougat notification panel and settings. Immediately we see we're running Android 7.1.1 and here's a bit more info. Root access is active. In ROM control we can personalize our experience. I see the capacitive keys are supposed to be backlit, but they don't seem to be while I'm using the phone. some notification settings power menu options general settings I'm just showing you what you get I won't get into great depths of all the things I like to see battery percentage at all times.
Well, everything seems smooth. One of the most popular Nougat features, the app Quick Switch, works great. Split screen multitasking works as well. The camera was said to be working, but it doesn't for me, and I've also seen other users report it does not. It seems to be fine, but then... Bluetooth pairing also does not work. Let's check some wallpapers. Not ideal, but never mind. Chrome works fine. Here you can see more info about the Android Open Kang project. Here's evidence camera doesn't work, the photo we tried to take is nowhere to be found. YouTube seems to be working as it should. One more thing I wanted to show you is how fast the thing boots. That's it, it's up. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the fingerprint reader.
seems to be working as expected. We'll leave it at that for now, stay subscribed for more videos like this one and as always thanks for watching and until the next video goodbye.